Hey there, grade five. This is Mr. B, and uh, just was checking that this was all working here. Uh, we're gonna do another math lesson today, and today we're gonna be reviewing meters. So, reviewing meters. Um, and so, yeah, we're uh, kind of you probably learned of meters before, and we probably uh, used we've obviously used the meter stick in the class to whack each other with. Um, and as a sword, so we kind of have a general idea of how long a meter is. Now, meter sticks, funny enough, are actually not, oh, and I didn't even write this out fully, uh, are actually not, oh, rather, oh, meters, uh, are not actually one meter long. And this is kind of an interesting little fact. The reason is that the meter has a little bit of extra area on each side. And I think the little video I sent about regular rulers also says this. And this is because over time the edges wear down and they wanted you to be able to keep using meter sticks. So I guess meter stick companies, unlike other companies, are not interested in getting you to buy multiple uh, meters every one bit or they just count on you losing them instead of uh, having to buy a new one. Um, so. Anyways, we're going to talk a little bit about meters. And so a meter, right, when we talk about a meter, it is equal to, so one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And we kind of talked about this yesterday, so today we're just kind of reviewing that uh, a little bit more. Um, so one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Um, and two meters is going to be double that, right? So two meters is going to be equal to 200 centimeters and so what happens each time is you're just timesing it by a hundred to get this right so times by a hundred and so if we went to five meters we don't have to go down this whole list we can just say five times 100 is equal to 500 because we have two zeros right so you get 500 centimeters and the way you can think of this right is each meter stick has 100 centimeters on it right there's all the little lines, and there's the big ones that are the, uh, and then there's just one meter, right? So it's just one meter, and there's a hundred centimeters on it uh, to make up that one meter. And to have five meters, you have to have gone, I don't know how to, there's like five rulers. I'm gonna have to erase the end of this. <laughs> Oops. So, right, you have five, oh, that's four. Look at that, great job of doing math there so anyways you have five meters and each of them has 100 right so 100 centimeters 100 centimeters 100 centimeters 100 centimeters and 100 centimeters right um so that's why yeah it's 500 there and you can do this for if you had 32 meters and you want to know in centimeters again it's not a very complicated math equation right we're just times it by 100 we have two zeros so all we're going to do is 32 plop the two zeros on and remember that now we're in centimeters instead of meters. And so what this is called is a conversion calculation, right? We're just using, we're just converting. Um, and so that's why we change the unit at the end because this is the uh, way you convert the number from a meter to a centimeter. Uh, yesterday, we talked about um, millimeters, right? And so we know that in a millimeter, or there's 10 millimeters for one centimeter, right? So you have to, uh, I guess in this way, you divide by 10 to get one. Uh, and then you could also say one centimeter equals uh, 10 millimeters and you're timesing by 10. So what you would do here, right? If you wanted to go from one meter all the way to tell how many millimeters that would be. What you can do first is you could just jump from one meter equals 100 centimeters because of times 100. And then you could do equals times 10. And then you just add this one extra zero on there. And so you get a thousand, right? So one meter is equal to a thousand not oranges or grapefruit or flying ninja monkeys, but millimeters. And so, yeah, it's always really important that we put these um, things at the back to tell us what we're talking about, right? So this is 1,000 mutant monkeys. No, no, just millimeters. Um, and so, <laughs> yeah, we, we need to be sure that we put these 
here it's very very important otherwise you um, aren't going to get all the magical points you need um, okay so there we have it with that that's kind of the the first basic thing now our next question what we're gonna look at is where would we find a uh, oh actually before I do that I just want to give you like a little thing about estimation right uh, oh what am I doing estimation um, sorry getting the eraser out. estimation is uh, really important when we're doing measurements. So a lot of times uh, when you're just looking and you're not, maybe not building anything, maybe you're just looking at a house or looking at something and you just want to find generally how much space there is, um, what you can do is you can estimate. And the way people estimate meters oftentimes is by taking big, long steps, right? So they take big steps and then this is about one meter. So for you guys being still a bit young, it's going to be pretty your pretty big steps. So the kind of almost giant steps. And for me, it's just because I'm uh, big and tall. It's about a normal or just a bit over a normal step. So there is a difference, and this is not going to be perfectly accurate. Um, but you just kind of take large steps, and you can kind of fi figure out about how many meters it is. Um, if you've ever seen, if your parents think more in feet, what people do with feet, which is the different system, right? So we have the metric system, um, which uses meters as the base, but then you also have this thing called the imperial, or sometimes called standard. Um, but uh, yeah, and they use uh, feet and inches and all those kinds of things. And this is used, these two are used often in um, construction and so your parents they a lot of people uh, in Canada especially still use standard in America they always use standard except in NASA and places like that um, and then you just count your footsteps one after the other and this would be one foot two foot three foot and that'd be kind of the same idea if you're using the imperial uh, or standard system and so yeah that's kind of the idea there. So the metric system, why we use that generally more and more these days is because it's more even. It it's just uses a base 10 system. So you have meters that are equal to one. You have actually these things called decimeters, which are in between. Um, whoops, you have decimeters, which you'd have one meter is equal to 10 decimeters and 10 decimeters is equal to 100 centimeters and this is equal to 1000 uh, millimeters whereas in feet and you see how it's kind of pretty simple and straightforward whereas in feet and inches you have uh, kind of one foot 12 inches uh, and I think there's uh, if, probably would be better to do this another way where I say yards instead here. So one yard is like, uh, I don't know, like I, I don't even know, it's, it's not simple. They're all different calculations. So hard to, I have to go and look it up again. I didn't uh, write it down. I never use this uh, imperial system other than in feet and inches, but there are yards and things like that. Um, Okay, so that's just estimation. And what I would thought you could do, which would be fun, and then you can maybe comment it on the place, is just go and measure the length of your kitchen. So estimating your length of your kitchen. So just measure your kitchen, which could be fun. Uh, just one of the walls or whatever is easiest. Um, and just measure the length or the width of your kitchen. And then you can comment it uh, on this assignment. Uh, which would be fun just to see uh, how it goes. Um, now, sometimes, right, a lot of times, though, you do need to have very precise measurements, so you can't always estimate, but estimating is good. Um, so where would, now we want to look at a number line, because um, we dealt with number lines, and this works perfectly on the computer, because I don't have to uh, <laughs> get out a ruler here. So two, th two meters to five meters, this is what we're going to be looking at. And let's just say we have three meters and four meters. So if I gave you a number 400 and 
53 centimeters, where on the number line would this go? Now, the way you'd think about this is 453 centimeters is, can be converted into uh, meters, at least some of it, right? So for one meter is equal to uh, 100 centimeters, then uh, 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. And so if we have 400 centimeters, we know that we have at least four meters. And then this last 53 centimeters, we can't use it to make another meter, but we still have it. Um, now, if 53 as a number here, where do you think that would be in between meters? Well, because a, a meter stick is 100 in total, right? 100 centimeters, 50 centimeters is gonna be about the middle. So in here on the number line, we would just put it kind of in the middle, right? It's not looking for super accuracy right here, um, but this number, 453, would be kind of about there. Now, if I wanted to say, maybe find 397 centimeters, where would this go? Well, we see 300 uh, centimeters equals three meters. So we know that it's gonna be bigger than three meters because we have at least three meters. And then we have 97 centimeters left over after that. Now 97 centimeters is very close to 100 centimeters that you need in total to form another meter. And so we know that it's gonna be three meters, right? Three meters and an extra 97 centimeters, right? Um, and so you would expect that the line would be around here where you'd have 397, nice and close. Actually, in reality, it'd probably be even closer um, depending how we look at this. And if we did one more, maybe we say 326 centimeters. This one would be kind of the opposite. Again, we're at three meters because 300 uh, equals three meters, 300 centimeters equals three meters. And then we have 26. So 26 is about a quarter of the way over. So it would be kind of on this end of it, right? So this is just kind of giving you an idea of where uh, and how you'd place these. Um, and part of it is you have to kind of convert. Now what we've been doing here is converting um, centimeters to meters. But we've always had this sort of situation where we can only make, uh, in this case, right, it's we can make three meters and we're left over with 26 centimeters. And this is actually a way a lot of people talk a lot of the time, right? Three meters and 26 centimeters. Here we would say we have three meters and 97 centimeters. And so this is what's called mixed units, right? Mixed units. And it's fine. This is what happens a lot, especially in speech. People talk this way a lot. And there's another thing that is also um, talked about in the same way where we have, uh, sometimes I'll say, well, I have seven dollars, right? And 25 cents, right? So this is something people will say all the time. Um, and so this is a correct way of looking at it. And so this is the same thing as saying I have seven meters and 25 centimeters. There's nothing, both work here, it's totally fine. But now, and there's something else interesting about this connection here, right? Um, seven dollar, or maybe I'll start with one dollar. Um, one dollar is equal to 100 cents, just like one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And we have cent, cent, right? So you can see the similarity here. Um, and so when you have seven uh, meter or seven dollars, um, that's equal to 700 cents. Now, another thing that we can do is sometimes we can convert this another way. Well, sometimes this is written as 7.25. So $7.25. And this is because these behind the decimal, this is like a tenth and a one hundredth of the uh, dollar. And we can do the same thing with uh, 
meters, right? So, uh, and centimeters, you can say it is 7.25 meters. Uh, so you can write this the same way. Um, and we can look at this again uh, here. If I have 625 cents, I can write this as um, six dollars and 25 cents, or I could write it as, uh, oops, dollars, 6.25 dollars. So six dollars is 0.25, 6.25 dollars is how you'd say that. And we can do the same thing with meters. So if I had 625 centimeters, then I could say, well, I have six meters and 25 uh, centimeters, or I could say, and just have it all in meters and say 6.25 meters. Uh, we'll talk more about decimals, but this is a, a proper way to write this as well. And often when you're dealing with, um, in math, when you're doing math equations, this is probably the way that you'll end up writing it, right? Um, and you've done decimals before, I believe, in the past. And so the reason is that a one centimeter is equal to 0 0.01 meters, right? Because it takes 100 of these to make one of these, right? So 10 of these goes over here. So this is what's often uh, just the powers of 10 and system like that. So that's all we're learning today. And I hope you can work on your math pages and that all goes well there uh, and that you kind of get something out of this uh, little lesson. Anyways, ciao then. Bye.